think we're rolling. <clears throat> Hello guys and welcome to episode 58 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. No quirky intro today, no special deal. We're just gonna go straight into the modeling. But first, I just wanna say a little bit about uh, the challenge. If you haven't been to the Discord server, check out the description because we've got a monthly challenge going on all of this year, as far as I know. And uh, this month of January, which is actually finishing today, we've had a, comp not a competition, it's a, a challenge to model a city block. And I haven't actually checked any of the entries yet, and I'm really excited because after midnight tomorrow, which is probably gonna be on Friday then, and if you're watching this in the future, it already happened in the past. So anyway, I'm gonna be going through all the contributions. I have no idea how many it is. Maybe it's five, 10, I don't know, 100, 50, I have no clue. But the idea is to put all of those into one mega scene, and then I'll do a video about that. So I'm probably gonna be spending this weekend recording that video. So watch out for that video, it's gonna drop. So subscribe if you haven't already and check out that challenge video. Maybe you put a contribution in there yourself and you're eager to see it and hopefully I'll be able to capture all of those nice scenes that are gonna be emerging now. Ooh, super excited. With that said, February is coming along very shortly and it's going taken by really fast now, the, the month it seems. And uh, we're gonna have a new challenge then and I'm gonna be announcing the new theme for, I'm gonna to speak to my admins a little bit and we're gonna confer and uh, figure out what uh, theme we're gonna do. Hmm, put some stuff in the comments if you want. I'll uh, be able to have a, a quick peek at those before we make a decision what the February theme will be. So it's gonna be really exciting now going through all those city block contributions. It's a little bit like opening a treasure chest and actually that's what I'm gonna be modeling today, a treasure chest. So with that said, I'm gonna set my timer and we're gonna model ourselves a treasure chest for episode 58 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Before I start, some of you might remember, but when I hit 100K subscribers, I did a 24 hour live stream for that whole duration, minus a little part in the middle where I actually got my internet connection interrupted, but I managed to change SIM cards because I'm in Sweden. We're meant to be having really good internet, but I was actually hooked up streaming everything from a 4G modem. <laughs> but I've ordered fiber now finally after 13 years of waiting. And I've kept you waiting a little bit too long now. What I was gonna say actually was for 200K, I'm gonna do another 24 hour stream, I think. If my projections are correct, that's gonna actually gonna be at the in the summer or something. Unless you know a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, hook me up with them to subscribe, of course. Anyway, so treasure chest, here we go. Episode 58 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Ready, steady, go. And we're off, yes. Tab in tidy mode, I was actually already in edit mode. I'll bring this up, so I'll hold the control key, snap that one there, A, select everything, scale X, 0 point, uh, maybe 7. That seems like good dimensions. Control R, let's do some loop cuts here. I'm gonna just uh, wing it. So I'll get roughly the same dimensions. That's a good thing with a uh, old treasure chest, they uh, they were handcrafted, so I'm sure they weren't like laser precision that uh, they measured these things. So I'm gonna select these top ones, and I'm gonna shift D, duplicate this thing, and then E to extrude, it's gonna be the lid. A little bit higher maybe. E to extrude, S to scale, X. E to extrude, S to scale, X. That's a bit round, isn't it? Should I do that? Scale, X. Oh, E to extrude, S to scale, X. Down to there, okay. And then I'm gonna use uh, this here to G, G. Oh no, I'll select both here. And then I'll just slide it down here because I wanna have a little arc here so it's gonna look like metal metal so select that one as well we're already starting to mess up the topology now i like it you know me i tend to sometimes wreck the topology but for low poly i'd say that it's uh, okay sometimes control r control r some loop cuts here and now we're gonna start i'll indent these things so i'll select those and then alt e extrude long phase normals in hope i didn't do too much there no that's pretty good i think and here we should indent this as well. So I'll select, here I'm gonna get rid of these. Speaking of uh, bad topology, let's uh, get rid of these quads, shall we? So I can have some more comments saying that I should keep a quad topology. You're perfectly correct, usually you should, but I'm breaking the rules a little bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna be selecting this one, this one, shift select a few of these, actually C select, circle select, circle select, there we go, Alt E, extrude long face normals and inwards we want to extrude those. So now we've got uh, this banding going on and I've got 7.52 on the clock here and we've got uh, some time to make this chest. I'm, I'm gonna make it closed treasure chest I think. So it's gonna be a surprise if we ever get to open this thing. A to select everything, 
No, we're not going to select everything. Oh, yeah, we are, because I want to have it a little bit brighter there, to there. Okay, now let's do uh, wood, I think. We need wood. Uh, so I'll shift select these, and uh, there's probably a faster way to select these, but I'll, I'll go slow, shall I? G to move it. To, I'm going to do a dark brown, and now I should have done this before, actually, because I'm going to lose uh, my selection. Control R, loop cut those. That should be good. Control R, let's loop cut here underneath as well. No, I'll skip those. I think you won't see the bottom anyway. And now C, circle select, C to circle select, C to circle select. And here I need these again. Sorry about this. I should have uh, thought of this ahead of time because I'm wasting time. There we go. Now that's already brown, yeah? So I to inset and then I to inset again to get the individual stuff going here. Maybe to there. Alt E, extra long face normals. I'm gonna get some planks now and period we want individual or origins I already had that that was a waste of time but it's okay it's a thin thing going on here in the top but that's okay okay now we're gonna control plus on the keypad and then I'll go mid brown here control minus and a light brown here and that should be our uh, wood planks I think yeah pretty good actually I'm gonna go for an even brighter wood I want them to pop not the planks, but uh, how am I doing? There, there's my clock. Six uh, minutes uh, and four seconds. Okay, maybe we should do uh, like a uh, like a lock thing here, shall we? Well, I'll wait with that, because first I want to make... Should I? No, shift the scale. Why? I can't even make up my mind now. A big uh, metal thing. This might be gold, actually. On the outside. That's the trick. It's going to be gold chest. This is the w valuable part of the whole chest here. Maybe like this. I'm going to try to make a control R. Actually, let's see if I can get like a keyhole thing going here straight away. Cheat with the topology again here. Let's do like that. Control R. Control R. I'm going to make a, a keyhole. Scale Y. That's it. And then control R loop cut. Now we're adding topology instead of... Uh, <laughs> doing uh, UV unwrapping here, we're just adding some, but the graphics cards are so fast these days that I'm pretty sure that they'll be able to cope with this amount of polygons, no problem. Shift select, uh, I'm feeling extra talkative today, so I'm not just saying the keystrokes, usually that's what I'm doing, but today I'm actually going a little bit crazy with not saying the keystroke, E to extrude, as to scale, G to move, and black there. Control plus, I want to have this one a little bit shaded there as well. Uh, 431, okay. So now I'm going to wonkify this chest. I haven't said that in a long time. And that's my specific scientific term here. Because treasure chests were rarely perfectly shaped. So I'm going to do O when to go into proportional. Control R. Let's get some extra geometry there and there. And now I'm going to just wreck this thing. Because they, they were, oh, oh. Alto, because I want uh, not the connected. And then control select to there. And then we've got four minutes to make this a little bit weird shape here. A bit cartoony look. People are going to say now, why are you wrecking the chest? But well, I'm adding character to it. For someone who loves uh, like perfect symmetry and exact uh, pixel perfect uh, alignments, this is a little bit like a mental therapy for me. So I'm going to go here, slide that one out a little bit, maybe. Uh, G, X, slide it to there. Okay, I'm, I'm taking a too much of a scientific approach. I need to go more random here, I feel. So maybe the top here, select to there, G. Okay, three minutes. G, maybe rotate this thing, rotate. Like I said, add some character to it. That's my plan here. Select a few of these, G to move those, and here we go. And you can bevel the edges here as well, I think. So G, G, let's uh, get rid of this. Gonna make, uh, select a few of these edges. Control select to there. Actually, I'll go all the way down to there. Control B now, and bevel this thing. And then S to scale that on, and then scale this one up. Because then we can get, uh, and you can color the these a little bit brighter as well, all the way to white nearly. That'll add some shine to it. 
maybe one more beveled here. Control, control, control B. Bevel that one. G, make it white. And then you can scale these a bit different sizes. G, G to move that on. Okay, now I'm also going to put some texture here. Here's another no-no. You shouldn't be doing this, but let's do it. So I'm just doing the knife tool here now to cut some uh, uh, stuff here. And since I have already done the... Okay, what happened there? Since I have already done the uh, wonkification <laughs> uh, with the, uh, the proportional editing, now I can go ahead and do this. If I did this after, if I did the <laughs> wonkification after, then I would totally wreck the topology. So you cannot do this before. I can't even get my words out. Anyway, uh, make it wonky first and then you, you uh, wreck the topology if you're going to do it at all. Or you could just unwrap it and texture map it instead. So, But I don't have time to do that for this. Okay, I've got 138, so let's get a little bit more here. And... Now there's got to be a purpose to this, so now I'm going to start selecting these. So I'll just shift select these. And try to get all of these that I did. So just holding the shift key, face selecting these planks part here. That's it, I think. Then there we go, one minute to go. I think I've caught most of them, so G, let's move them to like a bright. Let's make this uh, lock a little bit different as well. It's too, way too perfect. So O for proportional again. I'll do auto now to do connected only because then I can affect only this thing. So like this maybe. And then I'll do here. To there. Control, remember, control B to bevel this thing. And then G to move it to like a white or a yellow. That's the color. Uh, I've got 35 seconds. I can do this one as well maybe add a little bit more character to it i'll just do the front here because that's the only thing the screenshot's going to show so <laughs> get my priorities straight here maybe go bright there as well same here control b bevel and right and i've got 14 seconds i'll just bevel 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 some more here need to move that in control b bevel no we're not Control B, bevel, G, white. That's it. Time's up. Ah, uh, why did I, I never shut this off thing? You could argue that that color is terrible. Maybe I should have gone darker instead. Maybe I should have gone brighter not sure what do you think maybe it should have been darker maybe well i have to go brighter because that's what what i picked before i guess all right guys i bet you're gutted now that we're not going to be finding out what's in this chest if i had more time if i made 10 minutes into 20 minutes i could have opened this thing up and just filled it with treasure but we can't be breaking the rules, I already broke it a little bit by changing the color there. When I started this challenge as well, I usually put some little tips in there, but I've actually found out that most of the time when I model, I pretty much use the same stuff over and over again. If you've seen my Learn Low Poly Modeling video, that's pretty, pretty much jam-packed with the every single command that I know. And I just keep repeating those over and over again. And actually, that's going to be my tip this week, because I often get the question in the chat, how do you learn to... how did, you, how did I learn to do Blender? How did you learn how to do Blender? You asked how I learned how to do Blender, but you said, how did you learn Blender? And the way I learned Blender was uh, I just repeated creating very simple object over and over again. I didn't really have the patience to do high poly stuff, and even uh, the few ones that I tried, I sort of got halfway through and then I just shelved it, because I, you know, I wanted to do something else. My tip this week then is going to be, if you want to learn how to model, maybe you should start with the low poly stuff, and then you can always progress into the highly detailed stuff. Figure out just simple objects, think of what could be useful in games if you want to make game assets, anything. It could be characters, houses, buildings, trees, treasure chests, spaceships, airplanes, I don't know, anything that you can think of that would fit in a game. So, to make a short story long, model the same stuff over and over again, simple items, 
stuff that you're interested in, stuff that inspires you. You can always look at some reference images and occasionally you can even do the blueprint modeling type of stuff. But maybe you can just have a picture on the side, get inspired from it, just try to mimic it a little bit. Before I finish, I also want to give a huge thank you to all my patrons. You really mean a lot to me and thank you very much for the support that you've given me through patreon.com slash infensia. Especially during these times, I'm working on the game full time, doing a bit of YouTube on the side and uh, just trying to live a little bit lean. <laughs> so your Patreon support is actually helping me out a tremendous amount. Come back next week for another 10 minute modeling video and uh, some videos in between, hopefully. Until then, take care. Bye for now. Hey, do.